morning everybody welcome to another daily vlog it's monday morning and today is my town day so i've tried to get my schedule sorted so that i'm only in central london for like two days a week because otherwise i don't get anything done any work done so today is one of those days um day started with a breakfast meeting which was nice and productive at the ivy cafe in marlebone really really nice had a spinach and avocado on toast and a nice beetroot juice so feeling good and healthy now i'm going to do a little bit of shopping before my next meeting which is at half 12 and charlie's coming for that one as well so quite a busy but fun day ahead street and obviously can't afford anything along here so it's just been window shopping but i just went into gucci to kind of try on the dionysus bag because i'm very very tempted to get one of those and i have to say that the in-store experience was actually really really good normally when i find i go into these shops they're very exclusive they kind of look you up and down and they decide whether you can afford it or not and either pay you attention or not based on that normally I just find it a little bit cold and sterile, but actually that was a really nice experience, especially considering it's Gucci. So maybe shops are starting to change their ways and be a little bit more welcoming to the average person, which is wonderful. Um, so I'm now going to go and grab a coffee. I'm meeting Charlie around here in about 20 minutes, or maybe like half an hour, 45 minutes. So I'm just going to find a little base and get on with some emails while I wait for to arrive. with a company called Killian uh, which is rather luxury fragrances, unisex fragrances and we've both got our own little uh, sample which we're going to try out. We're both now on the hunt for some healthy lunch and then I've got a facial at 2.30 with the body shop which should be rather lovely. What are you doing this afternoon darling? Um, trying to beat man flu. Oh. So I'm, I'm currently in like a battle with man flu and I think I'm losing. So oh, De Dex is, Dex is going to cuddle me this afternoon while I do some blog posts yes. and help me beat man for it. Poor Cha-Cha! my next meeting I've just had my body shop facial and um, it was in this little south not salon um, this little room above South Moulton Street and the lady used the body shop face masks which I've got at home so I'll show you later to give me the kind of facial that I could recreate at home which was really really lovely and I would definitely be recreating this on my pamper evenings she had a good old analysis of my skin and then recommended that I use the ginseng mask which is a purifying mask and she actually mixed it with a serum so that it wasn't quite so harsh because she said because she said I've got some broken capillaries so she used that with a serum to give a really nice massage which was just heavenly and then she used an oil to really deep tissue massage my face so obviously our face holds a lot of tension and while we massage our shoulders and legs and things we don't ever really massage our face so she gave my face a really deep massage 
surprised I haven't come out with bruises or anything. Um, really clearing the sinuses, which is nice. And then she applied some steam on my face to open the pores, and then this little machine which kind of sucked at my skin, she called it the kissing machine, and that just helps to invigorate the skin so it allows more ingredients to go in. And then she mixed an oil with the, I think it's the Ethio Ethiopian honey mask, which again, she just massaged in really, really thoroughly. And all of these masks I have at home, so definitely going to be recreating that. And then while the final serum was sinking in, she had these hot lava stones which she massaged my back with. And I said, how can I do that at home because I don't have the lava stones? And the lady was saying that she can just, you can just put a hot water bottle behind your shoulders while you give yourself a little facial. So definitely something I'll be recreating. Next stop is the Dean Street townhouse for my next meeting, so I'll catch up with you afterwards. In case you couldn't tell, that was me super awkward vlogging because the taxi driver was giving me very weird looks. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got back home again from my day out in town and it looks like... Oh yeah, I don't have any makeup on. I was like, it looks like all my makeup's gone, but then I remembered of course I had the facial, so I don't have any makeup on. Duh, I have got melted brain syndrome uh, so yeah just got home annoyingly my last meeting i went to the place i was meant to be meeting her and she'd forgotten so that was a nice wasted trip slightly annoying but never mind these things happen um got home hoping that a special delivery might have been dropped off here but it hasn't which is rather annoying so hopefully it's going to arrive tomorrow you may know what i'm talking about you may not but i'm not going to spoil the surprise because i want to do an unboxing video um so yeah just got home gonna put in some gonna put on some comfy clothes do a little bit of work and then we're going to carry on making our Halloween invitations because we had to order some stuff from Amazon um, because we didn't have jiffy bags, we didn't have fake blood so that's going to be the task this afternoon but first of all I'm going to take my boots off, take my jumper off, put on some tracky bottoms and get comfy <laughs> So I just opened up some blogger mail. I thought I'd quickly show you the highlights. First of all, there's a new range out now from Molten Brown, and this is the Rosa Absolute range. It smells really, really luxurious. I just smelt the um, bath and shower gel. They've also kindly sent me the body lotion. They smell very opulent, very rich, almost a little bit kind of perfumey, like Tom Fordy. Really, really nice. And amazingly, they also sent me this Smithson. Oh, hello, Dexter. Dexter's just going to walk all over it, move your booty. Um, they also really kindly sent me this notebook, which says Top Seeker on it, which is just really, really cool. Look how luxurious it is with the gold pages. So this is definitely going to be my, like, handbag notebook from now on. Absolutely beautiful. Sausage. Mummy it doesn't need your help, thank you, Maronier. And then, from this brand called S'more, um, we're just going to have to deal with Dexter rummaging through everything. Let me show you over here. So, I don't know if you recognise this design, but I used to wear one of these rope bracelets with this on it every single day, but only yesterday or the day before it finally, like, broke off. So, such a coincidence that they sent me one from their new collection. This is the Christmas range, and this is a letter J on a lilac ribbon. So, I'm going to be putting that on straight away, and that's a brand called S'more. I've also been sent the new birch box, and these are based on your birth date. So, as I'm a Sagittarius, born in November, um, they sent me the fire box, which I think is my... Is it my star? Not my star sign. My element and inside really really excited about this a little mini dry texturizing spray from orbe a rituals body lotion um this is a pure spring water face spray a little hair oil um and also a lord and berry very nice autumnal lip crayon so lovely little birch box and then from L'Oreal, I have this exciting gift set. Um, I think, ah, uh, text. <laughs> I think this is probably a press edition with their new gold obsession lipsticks in. And I think all of these, I think there's about six in here. Let me see if I can get one out. I think all of these have got like a gold shimmer to them. Let's have a look. Yeah, so this one is pretty much a gold shimmery lipstick, very similar to a new Tom Ford one actually. So I'll definitely be comparing the two of those. 
also very kindly been sent a box of goodies from Pixie by Petra. I love the sound of this. Rose oil blend with pomegranate and rose oils. That's a nourishing face oil. Sounds really, really lovely. This is a massive nourishing cleansing balm. Probably gonna try this tonight because that sounds absolutely gorgeous. And this is a blush duo. So you've got the blusher and a little brush. Really nice gift idea. A mini of their classic glow tonic. Really good travel size. Also wanted to show you this new range that came in the post today from L'Oreal um, Professional. This is their Nutrifier, Nutri, Nutrifier <laughs> Glycerol and Cocoa Oil range. And there's a shampoo, conditioner and deep conditioner. Um, oh, and a DD cream. So DD is what? Um, defense... Dryness Defense, okay, so we've had BB, CC, and now DD Cream, Dryness Defense. And this range is all silicone free, so really good for the long-term benefit of your hair. It doesn't fill your hair with loads of chemicals and kind of falsely smooth your hair. It's actually really, really good for your hair to not include silicone, but most products do, and it kind of gives you a false sense of smoothness. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. Got a deodorant from Neil's Yard Remedies. This sounds really nice, rose and geranium aluminium free and then a huge bottle of Dr. Andrew Wheel by Origins um, Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Soothing Treatment Lotion. I've not actually tried this before but it is a cult product so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. So that's just a snippet of my blogger mail from today. Look how disgusting my hair and face looks. Need to get in the shower. Um, but before I do, I just wanted to quickly ask you what kind of video you'd like to see for the beauty advent calendars. So I'm storing them down there on the floor. Do you want to see like just me talking about them or do you want to see me opening them? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna get in the shower now because I feel gross. Did somebody think that it was bedtime? Bed. Did you think that it was bedtime? Yes, I'm afraid this is not your bed, Rooney. No, it's not. Hey guys, sorry I didn't finish vlogging properly yesterday. It was a typical example of me just getting super, super tired, as I tend to do, like, after 8pm. Um, and yeah, I didn't really fancy picking up the camera. So it is just after lunchtime on Tuesday now, and you haven't really missed that much this morning. I got up, I had a shower, I curled my hair because I want to film a couple of videos today. And then I filmed the try-on clips for my ASOS haul, which hopefully I'm gonna edit in a second and publish straight away. So hopefully you'll have seen the ASOS haul last night. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's happened so far today. Just redone my makeup because I had lunch and then I got like pasta sweats and needed to redo it. So yeah, I'm now gonna film another haul video. This one is gonna be a bit of a premium haul. It's got some bits in it from Club Monaco and All Saints, a few of which you saw me pick up either on Snapchat or in my Covent Garden haul, but I thought I'd stick it all into one video as almost like an autumnal investment piece, this video. So I'm gonna film that in a second, just waiting for Charlie to get out of the shower and then I need to take some photos of him in a jacket. So yeah, that's the plan for today. And then this afternoon, I'm so, 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 so excited because I'm going for afternoon tea. Sorry, I've got such an itchy face. Whenever I put makeup on, I don't know if it's like the brushes get so itchy. I'm going for afternoon tea at the Sanderson Hotel, which is that and the Barclay are my two favourite afternoon teas in London. Um, I know you guys really like like London stuff in my vlogs and by the way, my blog has tons of London recommendations, tons of afternoon tea recommendations, so if you ever come to London and need like advice then hit up my blog because I've got tons of reviews, food etc, hotels, things like that. So yeah, afternoon tea at Sanderson with Galan later on today which I'm really looking forward to. Had a really light lunch because I know that I love the sandwiches and the little nibbles at the Sanderson, so I can't wait to take you there with me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to catch up on with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna film my premium haul and then I'll chat to you in a bit. Look at my boy. He's sad because he knows mommy's leaving. Look at my boy watching. Oh, mommy gonna have to give you a kiss. I'm sorry, baby. Mommy's got to go. He says, I'm not talking to you. Mommy. I'm not talking to you because I know you're going out. Oh, look at that little chops. Oh, I love you. Hmm. 
I'm finally heading out now after filming three videos. So I had a super productive afternoon. Um, heading out now straight to the Sanderson Hotel for the afternoon tea and I'm so, so excited. I'm wearing my cashmere top from ASOS, uh, which you'll see in an upcoming haul. And then this is my River Island gilet. Jeans are some old ones from Reese. I've got my Valentino bag and my Topshop boots, which you probably have seen in a haul video from a little while ago. London fact for you. So I just showed you that lamp post with the double C logo that's like the Chanel logo and apparently the reason why that logo is on loads of things like post boxes and lamp posts like that is because the king who was ruling at the time that they were all implemented, I think it was like King Edward or something, he was having an affair with Coco Chanel which is why the logo is on loads of London landmarks like that to commemorate her and to just be a romantic sign. In fact, there's another one coming up here, so I'll show you what I mean. So this is just a lamppost, and it's got the Chanel logo on it. And yeah, another fact from Jay, actually, he said that that's because the king was having an affair with Chanel. Nearly at the sign of St. Now, um, and a girl just bumped into me in boots, and she recognized me and said that she really liked my work, and it just made my day, really, so. Thank you to that lovely lady with the incredible platinum blonde hair, if you're watching. That doesn't happen to me very often, so when it does, I don't really know how to react, but it's very, very exciting. Masterclass, so I don't know if we're going to be like making our own candles or something. I don't know if it's acceptable to rock up to a blogger event having had two porn stars and two glasses of champagne, but hey ho! I'm gonna try to put you in your worst mood out. Can you want cleaner than your trash shoes out? Really porn too, just to hurt you out. All red lamb just to tease you out None of these toys on these two are Get your whole year in a week to ya Main bitch shawty a leak to ya Side bitch shawty a leak to ya I'm so up to need a centerpiece I'm trying to wreck the table cut from Ebony She cut the ivory in the skinny pieces And she cleaned it with a face man I love my baby You're talking money need a human name You're talking about me I don't see the shade so I have just left Diptyque, had another glass of champagne there. I think this is the most tipsy I have been in quite a long time, which is uh, great considering it's been a work day. 
But I'm gonna head to River Island now and pick up my click and collect order if the shop isn't shut. Oxford Street is so busy, but it's like eight o'clock at night. Hmm. So maybe time for a little bit of late night shopping. again and I'm back with my little boy who I have been kissing a lot for the past half an hour and Charlie's downstairs as well. Um, I thought I would end this vlog by just quickly showing you a few of the amazing pieces that the lovely ladies at Galan have given me to try out because their range is just absolutely stunning. I've also got a little doggy bag from um, the Sanderson from our afternoon tea. I might just have a little midnight snack on those now. So the girls at Galan have totally spoiled me and Dexter is very keen to see what's inside. Oi sausage, get your nose out of there. So naughty. God this bag smells so amazing. So let me just get everything out to show you. Ah oh, just so many amazing amazing pieces. This one I'm really excited to try. It's their Pure Radiance Cleansing Cream um, and it's just basically an old school cream cleanser. I'm gonna give that a try in a second. I'll show you the packaging of this because it's absolutely stunning. So you get this massive, fabulous jar, which is just so luxurious. And I think this retails for under 60 pounds as well. And I thought it was gonna be much more expensive. And then inside you've got this beautiful cream. Dexter is far more interested in the packaging. Naughty boy. And then they've also kindly given me a honey gel mask from their Abbe Royale range, which I think I will wear, maybe leave on my skin overnight. This is a Galan candle. I mean, how much more luxurious can you get than a Galan candle? Dexter is just fascinated. Uh, this is a terracotta sun serum, which basically you apply before, during and after your holiday to make your tan last longer. So I love things like that. This one is the, um, I think this is a makeup brush. It's an absolutely, Dexter, please. <laughs> Come here, sausage. So inside, it's just a beautiful pink makeup brush. Oh my god, I didn't realize I'm getting so much help. Sausage, let mummy do it by herself, you little beast. Oh, he actually helped me there. Um, so inside this beautiful packaging is a gorgeous brush and I think I'm going to use this in its packaging as my handbag and makeup brush for applying bronzer on the go. Dexter's just going to enjoy devouring the packaging. Um, and then this one is a honey face treatment oil and it's a dry oil so it just instantly vanishes on the skin. I cannot wait to give this a try. It feels so luxurious. Tried it on my hands earlier. You may have recognised this from my Instagram that I posted earlier today. And then we've got a Radiance Resurfacing Facial Peel, an SOS Balm, which is fabulous for the autumn winter, just basically helps with dry skin or any areas of concern. And finally, last but not least, this is the Kiss Kiss Lip Lift. Dexter, can you just be quiet for a few seconds? No. And then this last one is the Kiss Kiss Lip Lift and this basically looks like a nude lipstick. I'll try and get it out and show you. And you apply this as a lip primer. So put this on before your lipstick and not only does it stop it bleeding but it just makes for a really lovely base and makes your colour last longer. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go tomorrow. Really nice with autumnal dark shades because they do tend to go a bit AWOL sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the bathroom. I've got the camera inside the bathroom cupboard. First of all, I'm gonna remove the bulk of my makeup and I'm going to use my Garnier Micellar Oil Infused Water, which my skin absolutely loves. And now that my face is mostly clean, I'm going to use the Galan Pure Radiance Cleansing Cream, which is in this amazing packaging. So it's this humongous tub, and I'm basically just gonna put a little bit of this on my face, massage it in, and then remove it with more and water and flannel. This feels so luxurious, like almost don't want to wash it off. I kind of want to leave it on as a mask, so I might just massage it in for a few more minutes before I take it off. It smells absolutely gorgeous. 
but it's an acid exfoliator not one with microbeads so you can either just leave it on or you can massage it for five minutes personally i'm going to go and put dexter to bed while this works it's magic and then take it off in a few moments time but i'm just going to give it a little massage first okay i will see you in five minutes Again, and I'm gonna take off the mask. I can't even really feel it on my skin, it just feels a little bit sticky, but it's definitely sunk into my skin a little bit, which is perhaps a little bit concerning considering it's kind of an acid product. But once again, I'm just gonna take it off with a warm, wet flannel. Okay, skin is feeling super clean and nice and dry now. And I'm gonna use a little bit of my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. I always use this every single evening. Just a really, really tiny amount on the brow bone, not brow bone, eye bone, not too close to the eye because it's too delicate to put too much product around there. And then the final part of my routine, I'm going to use the Galan Abbe Royale Face Treatment Oil, which lifts and firms. And this is a dry oil, so you don't have anything to worry about if you've got um, oily skin like me. So I've just got a little bit of this in my hands, rubbing them together mm, and massaging it in. This feels so lovely and light. Oh, love it. <laughs> left to do is brush my teeth and put on my night cream and I'm ready for bed. And to complete the Guerlain pamper evening, although actually Charlie is going to try this one out for me because he said he wanted a mask that wasn't clay, something a little bit more nourishing. So Charlie's going to try out the Abbe Royale nourishing, um, no sorry, repairing honey gel mask. So Let's see how he gets along with this. Wait till you see the packaging. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. There you go, darling. Charlie's a bit worried that you might have seen his todger in that last clip. So if you saw a censored sign, then um, that's why, because his boxes are missing a button. Very naughty. Oh, very naughty. So I'm going to pop my eye cream on now and recently I've been using the Clarins Multi Active Nuit so I'm going to slather some of this on. Charlie is putting on the Galan Honey Mask as we speak. I'll be trying that one out tomorrow. I feel like I've already put so much on my skin tonight. I'm going to give it a little bit of a rest. So yeah, I'm going to add this and then I'm off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching today and yesterday's vlog. I hope you're enjoying this whole normal video one day and then vlog the next day. I'm going to carry on that for the next few days so let me know if you're enjoying it. If you made it this far you deserve a massive hug from me so leave a yellow heart in the comments box if you made it to the end of this video so I can see who my best subscribers are so yeah leave a little yellow heart if you made it to the end um, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Night night!